Hey there. So TickTick -tick just recently updated their change log with a new update. And their change log is just a list that they keep on their website of new updates that they make. So they don't always kind of advertise, you know, like this is a new version of the web app or anything like that. But they do have this change log where they let you know, um, or at least list out there, what new changes have come to the web app. And it's sometimes hard to know what's changed unless you're constantly going out there to the change log um, to see what's new. And so that's one reason why I like to make these videos. It's not because this new functionality is great and groundbreaking, but it's just an update and I want to keep you guys informed of what's going on and what's new with TickTick -Tick, uh, because they are constantly updating. So it's hard to keep up unless you're checking the change log. But anyways, let's check out the new functionality that they've added this time. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. Okay, so let's start at the change log. I pulled up Tick Tick's change log and the last update was March 15th and it says new feature moving list sections. Effortlessly relocate sections to other lists by clicking the section more menu and choosing move to. All right, so let's check it out in Tick Tick and see what they're talking about. So let me drag my Tick Tick over here to this screen. And I've got a couple of lists here, work, personal tasks. I don't think I'm using sections in either of these. So let's start by adding a section. So to add a section, if you've forgotten, you can come up here to the three dots in the upper right corner and click the plus add section, right? And you can give this section a name. I'm going to call this one outside tasks. And let me move my task, walk the dog up to the section of outside tasks. Let's see, go for a walk might also be an outside task. Uh, let's make another section. So I'm going to come back up here to the three dots, click add section, inside tasks. And let's see, let's move grocery list up there, pay bills, tidy up an area. Okay, so now we have a couple of sections. So let's see if we can't move one of these sections from our personal task list over to maybe our work list. So it says, if I click on the three dots and choose move to, I can now choose a different list to put this in. So I could choose my work list. And now we see that that section, that entire section, including those three tasks are gone from this list. And if I click over on work, and let's see, let's remove this group by. So up at the top is not sectioned, and if I scroll down, there are my inside tasks. All right, so that's how it works if you're using the list view. But let's take a look if we're using the Kanban view. So I'm gonna click back to my personal tasks, and I'm gonna switch this view to the Kanban view. And now I see my sections across the top, right, in columns. So my outside tasks is here, um, my not sectioned are here. But let's add one more section by clicking the new section button here and giving it a name. Call that one phone. And I'm gonna move this task over to this column. And I don't think anything else belongs to phone, but maybe schedule any necessary appointments could be on phone too, okay. So now we've got a couple of sections again. Okay, so let's see if we can't move one of these sections from the Kanban view over to a different list. So I'm going to go over to that phone section that we just created. Click the three dots. Move to. And I'm going to click work again. And now I see that my section has disappeared from my personal tasks list. And if I go over to work, even though it's not in Kanban view, if I scroll down, there is my phone section and the two tasks that were under it. So again, this is a quick video just showing you a small new feature that TickTick -Tick just put out last week. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.